The levels of development primarily explain the differences between external and internal motivation. Although technically all motivation is internal, being able to articulate something outside of ourselves that prompts us will help us make more responsible decisions. Here is a quick review of the levels of development, but first an introduction by Kerry Wiesner of British Columbia, Canada. Quote, when I first came upon the concept of motivation described in the levels of development, it immediately grabbed my attention. This was the first time that I had ever seen anyone explain that behavior is about motivation. The contrast between the two higher levels points this out perfectly. To me, the levels of development is absolutely brilliant, especially because of its simplicity. When something is simple enough that even children can understand it, and yet so striking that many adults are stopped in their tracks by it, it's got to be something worthwhile." End quote. Keep in mind that it is the effect of the levels of development, how people grow, that makes learning the levels so valuable. Think of the levels of development as a rubric or reference for making decisions in life. It's a hierarchy that has four concepts or levels. As with any hierarchy, the most advanced or highest level is placed at the top. Note, after the concepts have been taught, reference is made only to the letter. For example, the highest level, democracy, is referred to as level D. Here is an explanation of the hierarchy. Level D, democracy, highest level, develops self-discipline, demonstrates initiative, displays responsibility, does good because it is the right thing to do. The motivation is internal. The term democracy is used because democracy and responsibility are inseparable. A woman wrote me that when she left the food market and arrived at her car, she realized that she did not pay for the lime that she was holding. No way did she want to walk back and pay 10 cents. However, she knew the levels of development and reflected on what was the right thing to do. She walked back to the nearest cashier and apologized for leaving the market without paying the 10 cents for the lime. The cash cashier thanked her and the woman wrote me saying that the feeling of satisfaction was so strong that she felt compelled to share it with me. This is an example that motivation at level D brings the most satisfaction and is a major contributor to healthy self-esteem. Level C, cooperation, conformity. People are considerate, cooperate, complies, conforms. The motivation, however, is external. We cooperate with others in order to live in a civilized society. Action at this level, however, is often prompted by motivation to please others, receive a reward, or avoid a negative consequence. A danger exists at this level when the young conform and comply to peer influence that may not be in the person's or in society's best interests. Example, a youth wants to belong to a group of peers who all smoke. What do you think the youth will do to be like and liked by the others? The youth will be prompted to conform to the others and will start smoking. The difference between level D and level C is in the motivation, not the behavior. Example, a youngster is asked level C, external motivation, to pick up trash. However, if the person sees the trash and takes the initiative to pick it up without being asked, the motivation would be level D. The action of disposing the trash is identical in both C and D. The difference is in the motivation. The objective is for people to reflect on their motivation, external versus internal. These two higher levels of motivation are both acceptable and describe how most of us live our lives most of the time. The two lower levels are of behavior and are not acceptable. Level B, bullying, bossing, bosses others, bothers others, bullies others, breaks laws, and makes own standards. Must be bossed to behave. This level is characterized by a lack of impulse control a lack of consideration for others, and by displaying inappropriate behaviors. When behaving at this level, the young are sending the message, quote, control us, 
because we are not capable of controlling ourselves, end quote. Level A, anarchy, the lowest level. Absence of order, aimless and chaotic. Absence of government. This level is characterized by chaos, being out of control, or unsafe. Anarchy is the fundamental enemy of civilization. The stories and illustrations in the book Children of Rainbow School will give you visuals and greater understanding of these four concepts and the reasons that level D, internal motivation, is the most satisfying of all rewards. Taking the initiative and doing what is right simply because it is the right thing to do. So here's a tip. Share the levels of development. You can search the internet for the levels of development image. You can also learn more at the website withoutstress.com. Just enter levels of development in the search box. Reflecting on the levels of development is the most successful approach to changing behavior. The reasons are that one, the approach is totally non-coercive and two, totally bypasses the natural desire to self-defend one's inappropriate behaviors. More insightful tips on how to manage stress and improve relationships are available at withoutstress.com. You will learn how to manage your mind, reduce your stress, and increase your joy of life. Thanks for watching and sharing this video. Until next time, live a stress-free life and visit withoutstress.com.